Hello, I'm a graphic designer. About three years ago, I started doing video editing, 3D modeling, 2D animation. I learned those skills online. That's good. I also have a degree in web development, but I find myself more interested in front-end web development. I want to reach a level where I can create amazing websites with 3D elements and deep animations, as I really love that. Yeah, I think there's something called 3DJS or something. There's JavaScript libraries that will allow you to do that. I learned HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, including React. Do you think it's a good idea to move from graphic design to web development? And do you think my path is correct? Yes, your path is 100% correct. Always go towards the skills that are considered more difficult. 100%, that's a good path for sure. You always want to gravitate towards skills that are um, perceived as at least as harder to uh, maintain the thing about development over design I've done both and I have a I have a certificate in graphic design photo lithography as well anyhow uh, what I discovered early on if the skill that you practice is considered hard there's initial barriers to entry or is not liked then it's worth much more you're gonna get much more um, business make much more money on that so give me an example WordPress WordPress uh, uh, development editing themes managing WordPress is they could be a big mess because of the plug-in architectures and so on because a lot of developers don't want to touch WordPress and there's so many people so many small businesses that have WordPress you can make a lot of money there that's one example number two graphic design versus development the thing is I noticed that even with clients uh, they can look at a photo and in their imaginations, or they can look at a page, they can look at a UI, and the clients in their imaginations, but well, they can imagine to themselves that they they can, they can, have a, a judgment that's reasonable, meaning they can go, I think they, we should make this button pink over here, and we should push this over here. Clients will do that, because it seems approachable. So they make this uh, mistake into believing that somehow they are capable in terms of graphic design. Whereas with coding, it's a black box, right? They can't even start, right? You have to get through that initial hurdle of understanding what code is and how to write HTML and your CSS and your JavaScript and how to put it online. So there's too many initial hurdles that keeps a lot of the, um, uh, a lot of the people from even approaching it. So what happens, it's perceived as being much harder. And, and since they can't really make a judgment, it's a black box they're less likely to poke their big nose into your business in terms of when you're producing content, when you're producing uh, apps for them or websites even. So yeah, I found that getting away from the design in web design, going more into development, is far more profitable, and you got a lot less headaches, as you got a lot less big noses, uninformed noses who think they're informed, poking their noses into your business. That's the great thing about it. I'll give you an example of this. The very last contract I did, I did it for a friend, in fact, before I went into my first uh, retirement, my first semi-retirement. So I sat in the meeting, and he, he got the gig to do all the front-end design. And, uh, but they weren't going to take it, do it with him unless he could get the back-end done. So he was not really much of a programmer, so he called me up. He said, Steph, Uncle Steph, he said. Well, I was a cousin Steph at the time. He said, Cousin Steph, please please do this gig because I need, I need this gig. Could you please do the contract? Please write the back end code. I was like, I'm retired, buddy. I said, okay, I'll do it. So I did it as a friendly, so friendly thing. So I went into the meeting and I'll spare you the details of the contract. It's not important. This is the important part of the story. So I go into the meeting. There's, it was a small business, but you know, decent size. So I was in a meeting with a VP, a manager and the president. I think those three. There may have been somebody else in there a while back. And um, so I go into the meeting, and they wanted to do X, Y, Z in terms of the software. They wanted to do ding, 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 ding. It was just uh, back-end business processes shit that they wanted to get done. So they had a big whiteboard. So one of the VPs goes to the whiteboard, starts drawing out all these boxes. I think he read UML for dummies. And... Uh, boom 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 and it was just like a big mess right it was like 
his amateur job at best, you know. Like I said, he read UML for dummies and he thought he was going to dictate how the software should be designed, how it should be executed. He wasn't getting into the code, of course, but because he, he didn't know anything about code, but he was trying to get into like the basic architecture. So they sat, the VP and the manager and the president were talking about it, and I'm sitting in the room, they're talking about this is how we think we should be done. And it was just such nonsense. And at that point, I was getting very annoyed with them. And also at that point, since I was uh, basically semi-retired, retired, I didn't care, I said, okay, that's very nice. I pointed to the whiteboard, I said, that's very nice there. But unfortunately, it's all no good. So I said, that's not how it should be done. It should be done like this, this, and this. I gave him a very brief outline of what it should be done. So then the VP says to me, challenges me, so well, no, I don't know, well, I think it should be done this way. And I said, listen, guys, why are you hiring me? You hired me because I'm the programmer, I'm the developer. I built these systems for years, I, and I pointed to the manager, I said, are you a programmer? He goes, no, I'm not a programmer. I pointed to the president, are you a programmer? He goes, no. I pointed to the VP who drew all the nice, beautiful UML diagrams. I said, are you a programmer? He goes, no. So you've never built systems, right? De build systems, right? And he goes, yeah. So I said, you know what? You should just listen to me then, because you don't know what you're talking about, and I don't want to sit here and debate with you. It's, because you don't know what you're talking about. So we're going to do it my way, or I'm going to, I'm going to hit on the highway. I'm out of here. Because I don't want to, I want your project to work. I want it to work. But it's not going to work if we follow your lead, because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. So they, they, they were taken aback, and they said, OK. And I, and I wrote the software, and it worked fine. Everybody was happy. But the key was the fact that they knew nothing, and they could do nothing. They couldn't even get to first base. Um, allowed me to be such a jerk with them. That was fantastic, by the way. It's very satisfying, I have to tell you. And they're paying you big money at the same time. That's like, what is, what is best in life? To be able to fire clients and while they still pay you lots of money. You don't want to waste time, right? You don't want to waste time. Anyway, but if it was graphic design, oh my god. <laughs> You know what they're going to do, right? Any graphic artist will tell you, oh, yeah, I, I think, uh, I, don't, I don't know about this image here. and I think that shade of blue is a little, man, I'm going to put this shade of blue here. And can we have a little bit redder red there? You know, that kind of stuff. It's like, oh, my God. It's because they can see it and they can do something. But when you're writing a bunch of code and software, they can't go in there and criticize, well, I don't like the way you, you structure the, the objects here. Could we uh, refactor that object to this and do that? And, you know, clients won't do that because they don't know anything about any of this stuff. So that's a beautiful thing. So yes, to answer your question, 100%. If you like development, yes, go into development. One last point about this. Don't get me wrong. Really good UX and UI designer, designers and developers, these people are gold. G-O-L-D, gold. They are incredibly rare first of all because being good with UX and UI you have to understand uh, not only design aesthetics but you also have to understand psychology in terms of how people look at user interfaces and websites and so forth great UI UX people are very hard to find but the problem is only experienced clients if you will understand the value of these people only experienced clients. Like, I'll pay top dollar for a great UX UI guy who may not be a coder, but they got they got the UX UI game down to a uh, they got a they got they got sharp skills in that regard because they're very rare. The problem is you have to find a, a more sophisticated client that will understand that. That's the key. You can do that. You can build that up with time, with reputations and so forth, but. Uh, which is pleasant, trust me. But yeah, generally speaking, uh, between web design or design versus development, you want to go development because of that black box phenomena which I uh, I just described. There you go. I hope that's useful. I'm Uncle Steph. I mentor people in the waves of code and development. My main goal here is to transfer my decades, three decades now, of experience in the whole space so that you don't have to spend uh, uh, 10, 20 years trying to figure all this junk out. You can just get it from me.
All right, we'll talk soon. If you have any questions, comments, you disagree with anything about the content here, feel free to post under this video. Uh, anybody is welcome to post, except for Ruby developers. Ruby developers, especially Ruby on Rails developers, you're not welcome to post. You can post, but chances are I won't answer you. But if you're a non-Ruby developer, no problem.